That's right. I was interviewed alongside some of the biggest YouTubers like PewDiePie, Casey Neistat, and many others, and it's pretty nuts. And we were talking about YouTuber burnout. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, this last few days has been crazy. I didn't even realize I was interviewed alongside these dudes. But anyways, before I get into that, um, make sure you follow me over on Instagram, at The Rewired Soul. We are so close, so close to the 10,000 follower goal. And just think about it. If each one of you who watches this video just hits the little follow button, I'll be at 10,000 followers in no time. We can get that swipe up feature and life will be amazing for you as well as for me. Oh, the joy it brings me to just even think about it. All right, but yeah, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and over on Twitter, at The Rewired Soul. I ask a lot of questions, I interact with you guys a lot. Um, I try to do research for some of my videos just by finding out what your guys' uh, behaviors and thoughts and you know all these things are and it helps all of us out. So anyways, make sure you follow me. So yeah, I was interviewed by Insider. I think it's a magazine or it's an online website. One of the two. Uh, I was interviewed by Lindsay over there and it was crazy. Like she reached out to me. When was this? This was like November or December when my channel started to get that big bump. And I just want to say like, I'm extremely, extremely honored to be interviewed alongside some of these other amazing creators and just you know for somebody who who struggles with imposter syndrome I know a lot of you have asked me about imposter syndrome yeah like when you get like hate comments and you know some of the stuff I've been through recently you know it makes me question like am I good at what I'm doing what am I doing you know and the release of this article came at a great time because you know if some someone as huge as insider is willing to interview me and talk to me about YouTuber burnout and mental health, like, I'm doing something right, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's this balance between like, getting that confidence and staying humble at the same time. So yeah, I'm very humbled by the fact that I got to be interviewed alongside people like PewDiePie and Casey Neistat, Katie Morton was a part of it, and some others. So yeah, um, basically they, they were interviewing us about YouTuber burnout. And this is something that I've talked about many times on my channel. So PewDiePie, in his part of the article, he talks about how, you know, there's this pressure to go, 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 and it's part of your job. And PewDiePie has been under more pressure lately, which I've debated on making videos about this because um, the whole competition with T-Series and, you know, letting, you know, your, your role or your spot define who you are. So I wonder if this is something that PewDiePie is struggling with, because I know a lot of you struggle with this. Like one of the main reasons people get so depressed after like losing a job or even a relationship is because, we tie it in so closely with our identity, right? But I will say this about PewDiePie. He has a great relationship with his fiance, Marcia. I think I said that right <laughs> this time because some of you gave me crap on one of my last videos. He, he has a great relationship, you know, and he is somebody who also knows when to take a break. He is the largest YouTuber on the platform and he also takes breaks. Like him and Marcia go to like Japan and all of that. But the other thing is too, when we're talking about YouTuber burnout, like I look at people like PewDiePie as, you know, someone to look up to on this platform. So when we're talking about burnout, right, a lot of people get concerned about me burning out because I pump out so many videos, but look at the largest creator on the platform. I always try to teach you guys, if you want what they have, you gotta do what they do, right? So I want what PewDiePie has, so I gotta do what he does. And he's making daily videos, right? So he has an editor, all of you know, my, my boy Zach is my editor. He edits sometimes, especially if I'm busy or I'm gonna spend some time with Tristan or my son or whatever. And that's how we find balance. So great for PewDiePie for doing that, but, PewDiePie also has these other balls that he's juggling, right? He has his, his merch line, he's working with, you know, sponsors and brands and all these other things, you know? So he doesn't do as many public appearances anymore, but he has a lot of stuff going on and this takes hustle, right? But PewDiePie has been open on his channel about burnout, um, you know, forced happiness and many other things too. 
So then you got my boy Casey Neistat, one of my favorite creators. Casey Neistat, somebody who I just started watching when he started 368. I'm like, I'm like, I've heard of this guy, but let me check it out. And I love his editing style, but I think what made me uh, fall in love with Casey was his tattoo. And what's it say? Does it say do more? Like he has two tattoos about just like working hard, right? And, and yeah, for sure. So funny story. When I saw Casey Neistat was in the article with me and then he made a video about it and like my little notification came up that Casey Neistat had a video about this, I'm like, oh my God. And my heart was beating. I'm like, Casey Neistat's gonna talk about me. Casey Neistat's gonna talk about me in his video. And his video only being released yesterday already has a million views. I'm like, oh my God, Casey Neistat's gonna talk to me. This is gonna be my big break. This is gonna be it, right? So I sat there and I watched it. I, I don't know why I haven't been that nervous in a long time. And coming to the end of the video, Casey Neistat didn't say squat about me. <laughs> but anyways, like uh, I tweeted out about it when I started the video and Casey actually um, replied back to me. And here's his tweet right here where, you know, he talks about, you know, just editing stuff down and all of that. And I absolutely get it. And Casey ended up following me on, on Twitter. So I'll, I'll, I'll give him a pass. I'll give him a pass this time. But Casey, next time a, a 368 event's going on, I better be invited. But I want to show you this clip right here. And there's been a lot of talk of like hustle porn lately that is like glamorizing, glorifying, romanticizing this idea of, of hustle. Work all the time. And it, look, I believe in that. I really do. What it took for me to get this channel from 200,000 subscribers to 10 million was not sleeping, was uploading every single day for like two and a half years. I busted my ass to build this channel and I appreciate that. And I don't have a whole lot of uh, sympathy for people who aren't willing to do that but want the success. Hard work is always required to get to where you wanna be. So yeah, that was, that was one of the standout clips uh, that I saw, right? Like so many people want this thing. So many people want the reward without putting in the work, right? And and for me, like, you know, I don't know if it's a society thing, people say it's a generational thing or whatever, but we get so entitled. We get so, so, so entitled. We want all of the good without having to put in the work, right? I know, I know when it comes to my mental health, when it comes to my, my addiction recovery, when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to my job, when it comes to, you know, being uh, you know, in a relationship with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, or being a father to my son. I have to put in the work if I want the rewards. So I'm so glad that Casey said that, but one of the reasons I bring so many mental health topics about YouTubers to my channel is because I know so many of you out there watching this, especially kids, especially kids, you wanna be a YouTuber, but you don't understand what comes along with it, right? We have to understand that with, with these things that we want, with these goals that we have, there's gonna be new stresses, right? And this is why YouTuber burnout is such a thing. So they also interviewed people like Katie Morton, um, and Katie Morton has done a lot of collab videos with people like Elle Mills. Most recently, she talked with the Try Guys about taking a mental health break. Um, Katie uh, also was in Shane Dawson series, and she talked with Shane Dawson after the series about Jake Paul and all that stuff. But when they interviewed me, I was glad I was able to bring in a different kind of perspective because Although I'm not a licensed therapist, I educate myself a lot in you know psychology, mental health, neuroscience, but also just like happiness. Um, I love Buddhist philosophy and all these things. So the, the section about me in this article was about value systems. And this is like the number one thing that I think YouTubers need to really keep in check with. And when we're talking about value systems is, First off, asking yourself, why do you want this? Why do you wanna be a YouTuber? What is your motivation behind it, right? Because what I see from my perspective is a lot of people get into this for the, for the fame, for the money or whatever. And what happens is, is that that is an extrinsic value, right? So an extrinsic value is a value that is something outside of ourselves. So the money, the followers, the subscribers or whatever it is. The problem with that is, is that there's never enough. Um, there's something that they talk about in Buddhist philosophy as well as there's a book called In the Realm of the Hungry Ghost. 
They call us, you know, part of the human condition is a hungry ghost, right? Imagine a ghost that just keeps eating, but the food just keeps falling out, right? There's never enough, you know? And this, in my opinion, is what I think a lot of YouTubers struggle with because they, they keep wanting more and more and more and more and more, right? So my values, my motivation for starting this channel, despite what some of the negative comments say, I have intrinsic values, okay? I'm not looking for the followers. I'm not looking for the, you know, the subscribers. I'm not looking for, you know, the money. And yeah, I know some of you are gonna be like, but didn't you say in the beginning that you wanted followers on Instagram? Listen, I just want the swipe up feature. If I can get the swipe up feature at five followers, I literally would not care. <laughs> but my goal is to help as many people as possible, all right? That's all I want. So the only reason I even care about views and subscribers is because I wanna help people. So some people, you know, they don't like the way I do my content or my content strategy. But here's the thing, I have 700 videos and my first like three or 400 videos wasn't really using YouTubers or pop culture at all and nobody was watching it. Like, why am I going to, you know, make, like have a passion of helping people if nobody can see it? That'd be like putting a hospital on a deserted island. You know what I mean? So I, I needed to get my message out to people so they could see it and I just happened to find out that if I use YouTubers uh, for context to talk about mental health, I'm able to reach a larger audience, all right? So that's a little bit of the method to my madness and why I talk about it. So part of the reason I started this channel, like my main goal is to help all of you because if you look at you know the situation, there's way more YouTube viewers than there are YouTube creators, right? But I'd be lying if I if I didn't say like at some point I want to get to a place where I can help more YouTubers. You know, I want to help you know my peers, people doing the same thing. And as my channel grows, I have a lot of YouTube content creator friends who reach out to me. We talk to uh, each other on DMs or like on the phone or whatever, and they talk to me about their stresses and their struggles. And it makes me so happy that they can turn to me and I can talk to them about this stuff. But one of the issues that I see is that so many YouTubers want they want their cake and to eat it too, right? They want everything both ways. So one of the reasons why we have to check in with our extrinsic values versus intrinsic values is so many YouTubers want the fame, they want the money, they want the attention, they want the popularity, they want all these things, but you guys have seen it if you're a subscriber to my channel. You've seen it, they don't want people talking about them. They don't want people to talk to them or shed any light that may even per be perceived as negative. Like you guys, that's not how the world works, all right? You can't ask for millions and millions and millions and millions of eyes to be on you and for nobody to talk about your situation. Like that's not how it is. So this is something where for like any aspiring YouTuber, you gotta realize that. Watch and learn from these other YouTubes, YouTubers. See what the struggles are that they're dealing with, right? So one of the things I will say that helps me with my mental health as a YouTuber is people who have taught me like Roberto Blake and Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk, right? Like, uh, uh, like Roberto and I, we're buddies. We actually talk a lot, but uh, Gary V, I only talked to him once at Vid Summit. But what I'm getting at is they taught me to fall in love with the process, okay? They didn't teach me to fall in love with the numbers. They didn't teach me to fall in love with the money, right? All those things are great, but they taught me to fall in love with the process, okay? And that is super important. I absolutely love what I do. I am so grateful every single day. A few months ago, I was able to start doing this full time. And like, that's the dream. Like, that's the dream, right? I'm my own boss. I get to do my own thing. I get to be creative. I get to help others. I love that. And I love that process. So what's interesting on the topic of YouTube burnout is I put this poll up um, yesterday, right? Or two days ago. And I asked you guys, would you prefer me, you know, only uploading once a day? What's fascinating, I never in a million years thought that this would be the result. And what I mean is the comments. And this is why the rewired soldiers are legit, legit the best subscriber base out there on YouTube. Because most of you who said you would prefer me to go down to one video a day, you were more concerned about me. It wasn't that you don't have enough time to keep up with the content. There were a few people who said that. Like, it's very rare that anybody said that. Most of you were just worried about me. Most of you were worried about me burning out. Like, how cool is that? I love you. Have I told you that lately? I love you. But just to give you a little bit more into my perspective, 
I hustle, I work hard, and like, I can get lazy, I can procrastinate, and a video from start to finish takes me, like from the time I set up, sit down, record, edit, upload, takes me maybe an hour and a half to two hours, right? So like, if I'm doing this for a full-time job, an eight hour a day, like, if I'm only working for two hours, I will go absolutely insane. Like, I like I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. What am I gonna do? Sit and binge watch Netflix, play video games all day? Like, I just love being productive. I love talking to people. I love putting out content that might be able to help people. So like, I would truly go insane if I only worked two hours a day and only did one video a day. I don't have enough going on yet to do, you know, to fill up that time. But here's some exciting news. On my channel, I am changing things up. Some of you have already noticed this. So I've been talking a lot with uh, Tristan. I've been talking with all of you. So what I wanna do is do my best to stick to two videos a day, not three, but two. And here's the thing. I want to start doing more research. A lot of you have really, um, loved what I've been doing, tying in like psychology and sociology and neuroscience, and I love to learn. So I'm gonna try to do a morning video and an evening video on all the days that I can do it, unless I'm like traveling or got family stuff going on or I'm sick or whatever, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm gonna try to do a morning video and an evening video and put more like uh, scientific or psychological or evidence-based information in there because I love teaching people. I truly believe one of the keys to improving your mental health is to understand more about the way your mind works and, so, uh, and as well as some of uh, what the greatest minds in psychology and mental health think about all this stuff. The last thing that I'll mention is I just started therapy. I actually just started therapy with BetterHelp Online Therapy and you know a lot of people like on Twitter they're like oh my god be careful the whole scam thing or whatever. I'm actually journaling and documenting my uh, my journey with this whole thing um, but yeah something like something I often teach other YouTubers is that listen you have the money get therapy, whether it's through a therapist in your local area or it's through BetterHelp or whatever it is, get therapy. And as my channel grows, like I've noticed that I am struggling with some of my own things. So I'm giving therapy a try. So I've been documenting this journey, so I will be making a video about my experience with BetterHelp, the ups, the downs, and you know, all that. Cause I've only been doing it a few days now and there's always already been some ups and some downs and a lot going on in my mind. So I will talk about that. But if you're interested in trying BetterHelp online therapy, the link is always in the description and all of that. Everything's been fine so far. The therapist that I have, I looked her up, she's fully licensed. So, <laughs> so everything's going great so far, but I will keep you posted on that. All right, but anyways, again, thank you so much to Insider and Lindsay, the lovely journalist I got to talk to. You're awesome. I'm so honored to be interviewed as part of this, and I look forward to trying to keep helping as many people as possible, including all of my favorite, lovely, amazing YouTube creators out there. You're awesome, don't get burnt out, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like exclusive perks and videos and group calls and individual calls, all that stuff, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again for watching. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, and I'll see you next time.